let us see some of the questions that has been asked quite frequently in uh, different amazon interviews of course none of the lists are uh, exhaustive and you cannot build a list that consists everything so let's see the first problem that is asked very frequently is reversing words in a sentence so for example you have a sentence knowledge center and it has two words so this is w1 this is w2 so you have to reverse the words so last words comes first first word comes last and if you have w1 w2 w3 then the sequence would be w3 w2 w1 and uh, the expected time complexity is o of n and uh, if you want to refer has a link to this solution on my channel knowledge center so next is uh, find the first missing positive number so you are given an array and it has many numbers it can also have negative numbers and by positive we mean more than 0 not 0 for example in this case minus 1 is there so we are not concerned with negative 0 is also missing but uh, the first number that is missing which is positive is 2 1 is there 3 is there but 2 is not there uh, so again the time complexity should be of 1 and here is a link to the detailed explanation of the solution on knowledge center channel third one is two sum and again uh, you are given uh, let's say you want to find uh, whether there exists a pair two means two numbers you have to find two numbers in the array which sum to a given value for example let's say we want to find nine if if a pair of numbers in this uh, array makes nine then yes you see that three and six make a nine so we have to return their index and again you should do it in o of n and here is the link to detail explanation then you are given two linked lists singly linked lists and these are sorted and you have to merge them so this is the first list and the second list so one one and two you picked from the first list because these are the smallest and then you see that three comes here which was in the second list then 4 comes here from the second list and then 5 from the first list so that the final should be also sorted and this would be done in O of n time and the link to detailed uh, explanation I will also give the links in the description of the video so you can refer there next is print the subsets of a array so we know that there are roughly 2 to the power n subsets uh, so in this case let's say we have two numbers so all the possible values are uh, set containing zero value one value then the set itself so it will be exactly 2 to the power of n where n is the number of elements in the set and why is that because for every number either it's included or not included so for each number there is two possibilities so total possibilities are multiplying to n number of times so 2 to the power of n and the time complexity here is expected to be 2 to the power n multiplied by n and here in this video I have discussed it in detail the concept and the solution next is to clone a graph you are given a graph and you have to clone it so this is coming from previous question so you have to make a deep copy so you have different nodes in the graph and these are connected so you have to create a new graph out of this so you have to return a new graph and it should be connected in exactly the same order so that you if you traverse this graph you should get the same result I mean all the connections all the edges and all the nodes should be copied so this should be similar to traversing the graph so it should take O of V plus E number of vertices number of edges and uh, here is the link to solution next is search in a rotated sorted array so an array is sorted if the array is sorted you can search it in login time using binary search but in this case the array is sorted but you cut the array so let's say this is one part of the array and this is the second part you see that you if you keep this part 
after the, this part the complete array will be sorted so you have there was a sorted array you chopped it from middle and put the first part in the end so it's still sorted but you don't know from where it breaks so you have to search in that and you have to return whether the number exists or not so for example if you have want to search it for 5 it's there so you should return true so in simple binary search what you will do you will compare with uh, the first number let's say 2 is less than 5 and then you compare the last number 2 is less than 5 so uh, you did not find it you come to the middle so you may miss the number you if you are lucky you may reach it even in binary search but in general you will miss the numbers and simple binary search does not apply so here you have to uh, design a similar algorithm but we cannot guarantee log n time like searching in a sorted array so on average it should take log n time and the worst case still can be of n and the link to the detailed solution is given here next problem is rotate array by k so it's similar to the previous question so here the array is sorted but you have to rotate uh, this array may not be sorted so uh, don't think it's always sorted uh, so it's like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 k is 3 so you pick uh, whether the first 3 or last 3 it will be given in the question but let's say we pick last 3 so uh, not last 3 uh, the problem would be like uh, you have to shift the array by k times so whether left shift or right shift that will depend on the problem statement in this case we are right shifting so in this direction so you see we shift this array by one step 7 will come in the beginning 7 followed by 1 2 3 so on then 6 will be at the end again one right shift 6 comes here so it drops from the end so this is the end of the table and 7 was lying here so if you shift this by one step 7 will fall down and it will come in the beginning then 6 falls down and then 5 falls down so the result is 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 and you have to do it in O of n time and the detailed solution is on this link I will provide it in the description next is check if the binary tree is symmetric so if you draw a mirror from this middle you see that its left subtree is 2 uh, left uh, child is 2 its right child should be 2 then at the next level so till this level it's symmetric here 4 is on the right side of 2 here 4 is on the left side of 2 if it's a different value it will not be symmetric and if it's the same value but let's say 4 is here in the right then also it's not symmetric so again you have to do it in O of n time and please refer this link for detailed explanation finally let's uh, see the tenth problem which is reversing the nodes in a group of k in a single linked list so you all know how to reverse a linked list but here you have to here you have to reverse in a group let's say the group is 2 so you pick the first k elements reverse them then the next k elements again reverse them and the next k elements but in this case if there are less number of elements then you reverse that part only so in this case 1 if it were 3 you would have reversed 1 to 3 so it would have become 3 to 1 then the next group would be 4 5 so 5 4 and this you have to do in O of n time and here is the link to detailed description so I hope uh, if you solve these 10 problems uh, you would get some practice and these are popular problems so uh, the goal here is not to create an exhaustive list because uh, we could never come up with such list but uh, i hope this helps so all the best